everyone it's me Ritwik today we're going to um, make a p5.js camera so that's um, so easy so it will just take a uh, five or uh, two minutes to make this so first uh, make a uh, three files named index.html style.css and sketch.js now uh, uh, follow me and uh, it will be quick and easy um, actually we don't need this uh, style of CSS if you need to style then you can add I'm just not going to use it So that's uh, our button. Who we need the style of CSS? Yeah, we need the style of CSS. So let's add the link. Okay, so we're just gonna style the canvas here. Okay, that's only a little uh, style of canvas. So let's start um, our sketch.js or p5.js. Okay, so we need to add two functions function setup, function draw. The function setup will, uh, will, will do the setup in there. Here, uh, make a uh, variable named canvas, which will just uh, store the canvas. You can add any uh, any values, or if you want to play with the values, you can play it. <clears throat> As you can see, this is the image source. This is the X. This is the Y. This is the width and height. Okay. Now let's, uh, yeah, link the sketch.js. Okay, now uh, it should work, right? So that I'm playing uh, the local host. As you can see, there are two canvases. That is not what I was expecting. Okay, let's reduce this margin to zero. Still not working. I think something is wrong here. I guess I think we need to remove this margin dot top and remove this canvas dot center. Uh, so video dot hide we have to actually hide the video down I think we yeah, had to work and uh, well, let's actually uh, make it a bit big yeah that seems 
for it. So let's see if the button works. I'm glitching. So why is it not doing that? Oh, I know. Okay, so we need to add on the split. And now on the save function. Okay, I have coded for the function. Uh, let's see. Okay, save our, our name. So let's go ahead and save it and look at the image. Oh, yeah, look. It actually saved the image. So that's how you make it. Bye, guys.